Natalie Fiorina is with us now. Ms. Fiorina, good morning to you and thank you for waking up early. Good morning, Savannah. How are you? I I'm well. Let me see if I can get you to channel your inner Donald Trump. Did you win the debate last night? Well, I was very satisfied with the debate. You know, when I went in, half the audience had never heard my name, and they didn't know I was running for president. And I think I successfully introduced myself to those who did not know me and demonstrated once again that I am the most you know, qualified candidate on that Trump stage to win this job and to do this job. A lot of viewers felt you put Trump in his place last night for his comments about your looks. Trump, for his part, says he wasn't talking about your face when he said, look at that face. But he said last night, you have a beautiful face and you are a beautiful woman. What did you think of that response? Well, you know, Donald Trump says many things, and we all have to live with what we've said. When you say that women in this country heard what he said and knew what he meant, let me just push you on that a little further. What do you think women heard when Donald Trump said that about you? Well, you know, I think that women are still uh, caricatured and scrutinized and criticized differently. And I think it's only a woman who would be criticized for her appearance while running for the highest office in the land. And so I think women know that. Women deal with that every day. And so I think women understood. You may well be the GOP nominee. We don't know. Hillary Clinton may well be the Democratic nominee. Do you think if there are two women running in a general election, that neutralizes that issue for Hillary Clinton, any perceived gender advantage? Is that one of your merits in your mind? Well, look, I'm not running for president because I'm a woman. I've never been a token in my life. I am a woman. Half the nation is women. We are half the potential of this nation. Hillary Clinton is going to have to stand to account for her track record and her accomplishments or lack thereof. That's what this election should be about. You talk about the importance of a track record. I know you have gotten into the reasons for your dismissal from Hewlett Packard and, and I don't mean to delve into all of that with this question but let me ask you Republicans if anything want to win come next November how can you assure them that you are a winner when your last major professional experience ended with this firing and your only run for office ended with a loss how can you tell them I'm ready to go the distance well you know when you lead, you challenge the status quo, which is what the American people want now. And you make enemies when you challenge the status quo. And I made some on the HP board and have been very open about my firing from the day it happened. It's also true that the man who led my firing, Tom Perkins, has since taken out an open letter in the New York Times in which he says he was wrong, I was right, I was a terrific CEO, he backs me, he says, and I'm quoting him, that I would make a magnificent president. But Ms. Freer, I think let me, what's let me important just push you a little bit on that because, you know, in politics, and you know this well, if you're explaining, you're losing. Is it a weakness that if you go forward in this process, you are going to be having to delve into that record over and over again and defend your tenure since that is the primary experience on which you're running? No, I don't think it's a weakness at all. This all of us are going to have to defend our track record. Mrs. Clinton in particular will have to defend hers if she is her party's nominee. And her track record is one of lies about Benghazi, about her emails, about her server, a lack of leadership, a lack of accomplishment. Carly Fiorina, one of the most talked about candidates on that debate stage last night. Thank you for your time this morning. We really appreciate it. Thanks, Savannah. Thanks for having me. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.